Welcome back to part two, day two, of my Squeaky Stairs DIY fix. Enjoy a clip of me cluelessly looking at sheetrock. Today we're picking up from where I left off after I cleaned up the mess I made on the basement stairs. So I hit up Home Depot and I got some wood. There's 12 there. I got some other stuff that I know I'm going to need. Construction adhesive for wood. Beefy three and a half inch screws. This extension, so that'll make it nice and easy. Less of a reach. Wood filler. Hopefully that's the right color. And it says it's oak and that's what my floor is. We'll see. I've always needed one of these, so I finally got one. I am going to be putting some electrical part of this job. I don't need 250 feet for this job, but um, I'm going to be putting a light somewhere. I haven't decided if I'm going to be putting it towards the top or in the middle. I got to do some, some more ripping out of some wood that's kind of in the way. So we're going to do that before we completely set up out here to do the cutting. All the way down there, that board I ripped out already this morning so I could explore a little bit. So th that connected from here and all the way up to here. And this was just, just a spacer for it. So that board was simply just a place for the drywall that I ripped out to, to be nailed into just like this. So I gotta rip this out and all these little support pieces that are behind it. Gotta rip those out, they're in the way. And gotta take this out. <laughs> damage from the pry bar lifting up. So they use nails, massive nails. So it looks like I'm gonna need to replace my entire, entire wall, at least pieces. bunch. I haven't quite figured out how many exactly yet. 22 because I'm figuring two for each step and it looks like I only need to reinforce 11 steps. So if you're going to be making a whole bunch of cuts and you need them all the same length you kind of make a jig. So what I'm going to do is exactly that. I've got some scrap pieces of wood and you don't really need much it's just whatever you can find around your house your garage workshop whatever for you to then just piece it together so that you can just put a board down zip it cut and then just keep zipping it zip 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 makes it the most your time the most efficient that way i've got this piece of wood that i can clamp something like this I'm gonna need to open this up some. Might be as big as it opens, actually. Like, this is probably not gonna work as I thought. This should do it. Just put that in place, measure out 
18 inches. This is all approximate. I'm not dealing with rocket science. It doesn't need to be precise. So 18 inches and that puts me here. So then screw, juice it up a little bit. That's still 18. It looks pretty good. That should be 18 inches. Let's try it on the money. See, that looks pretty good, right? Like I said, it doesn't have to be precise. Looks like I'm off by a sixteenth of an inch. Seventeen more to go. thinking of I remember I was telling you I was thinking that I had a plan what I was thinking of doing was taking these boards which looks like on this side I'm gonna have to trim them down I didn't make that measurement correct let's look at the other side what I'm thinking of doing is this has been nailed into studs so you got nails here got nails here nails up there and I measured 16 16 on center so i'm thinking this is load bearing for the stairs same on the other side so my thought put a board across just get it in there nice and tight construction adhesive anywhere you're gonna have wood touching wood so get that in there nice and tight we screw in here screw along here because this is load bearing drive it right on through This is not exactly to size, this one. It's probably gonna come back and hit me in the face, I bet, if I let go. Yep, maybe not. Once this is all buttoned up, this beam, this beam fastened to the wood. When weight is on the step, you get this beam that is secured to the stud, and then you got this right here in the middle, and it will also be pressing down on the stud beneath it. So you're actually using every one of the different boards that have been screwed in you're using every one of those as structure, as a as a, a load bearing type of uh, type of support. So, got a little bit more work to figure out. You got to do some trimming on these. So that's what I got to do now. This is one of those screws that I was telling you when you drill into the floor and it just snaps right off. That's exactly what it does.
I don't have my fancy microphone on because my phone was starting to run out of juice and I'm using this on my phone. So you can see I've got one in place and I realized this after I already got it in place. I tried tapping it, but it wasn't getting a close fit because there's this really, really thin shim. It looks like a shim that must be a little bit low on the inside. This whole thing is, the stairs are just really weird. I'm gonna put one more up here so that I can get an accurate measurement for this guy to go in between. Because right now, this this is all just, let's see, how many of these do I have? I've got like maybe six of these. These are just excess from cutting the, uh, the two by four in length. essentially one step. They're all gonna work together, but it's essentially one step. So I'm gonna do the same thing as what I just did on the other side. Then I have, I'm gonna put a board going across the middle. And that of course will be right up against your construction adhesive. And then that will be supported. last a little bit longer maybe just a little if I snip off a little bit just the tip This is just one of all that I now need to do. I got these two horizontal guys. They're drilled, screwed right into this, which is load bearing. And then I got this guy so that any weight that's pushed down, it's gonna be held up against this. Construction adhesive across the board. You can see I've done everything there. And here, this is where I start to make it a little interesting. It's kind of like half an I-beam. I've got screw here, screw here, screw in the center, and then I got two over here. If I have any squeaks out of this step anymore, then we're gonna have a bigger problem. It, it shouldn't squeak ever again. I've gotta do that 10 more times. So I gotta put the horizontal bit there. I gotta do this one. I gotta do that all the way down. Both sides. And then I do this. So I've got a lot of work still cut out for me. This is this is gonna this is gonna continue over the next. I was really only doing this for about four hours. But four hours was unloading the Jeep, measuring, cutting, remeasuring, and then screwing all this stuff in. I also did these so that will keep this from wanting to wiggle in between. Oh, also the the time was me ripping out all the rest of the wood going down. I was just finishing up demo, in other words. As far as building, I should be able to get this going probably just a few more hours. A few more hours meaning like eight. Okay, I'm gonna get back to work. Uh, 
um, just got one more step complete. This one here. You can see that this split, that split happened when my friend went up the stairs. And so when he put his weight on it, just snap. He was a little worried. Um, so was I because I, I literally saw it happen. And he was worried because, well, he felt like he went through. So I quickly put this one together. I was only just gonna add a couple more. So I just gotta put a piece there. And because I'm calling it quits for today, I'm gonna pick this up again tomorrow. It should be mostly just measure, cut, cut again. I'm trying to be conservative on cutting because I don't wanna to have to do something like this where I cut too much and then I have to stuff a little piece. Thank you.